The East Coast Surfing Championships continue in Virginia Beach tonight. And conditions have been, well, less than ideal. Tonight, your side's Art Khan is out on 2nd Street. And not one of the better years for surfers, Art. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier who's a lifelong resident and served here many years, like myself, and we were both saying that this summer we could count the number of times we've been surfing on one hand. Competing in marginal surf is a challenge even for the kids surfing in the Menahuni division. Lola Schremer traveled all the way from Hawaii to surf in the ECSC. Friday's conditions forced her to change her island style. So you have to learn to do your tricks faster. <laughs> Figuring out the best spot to catch a wave that is barely knee high is part of the challenge. Eddie Barnes was attacking the inside section close to shore. Because it looked so small that I thought I could catch the waves. But then I realized that you have to go back out farther. It's been pretty tough catching waves in Virginia Beach all summer long. For the first three quarters of the summer, we had prevailing southwest winds uh, in the range of 10 to 25, 30 miles an hour. And uh, no swell can come around with that type of uh, system. But to understand what's happening off the Virginia coast this summer, you have to travel all the way to Africa, where huge dust storms have created a shield between the sun and the ocean. Called the Saharan air layer, that comes in and makes things pretty stable, and it makes things hard for storms to form, so that was one factor. Another thing that's been happening is we had some unusually cool and stable air coming into the Atlantic. The water temperature is below average for this time of year. In fact, some of the contestants were wearing wetsuits in Virginia Beach in the middle of August. The water's kind of cold. No doubt about it. It's been colder. It's been 60 degrees in the middle of July. All of these factors contributing to what has been a relatively quiet hurricane season thus far. Yeah, normally by now, in fact, actually starting around mid-July to now, we normally get at least a few hurricanes that pass by out at sea, even if they don't come into shore. We haven't seen that this year. Let me tell you something that we're seeing right now, though, that could improve things here for the contest this weekend. A northeast wind, and it's blowing pretty brisk. This northeast wind will at least help somewhat in producing up some more waves. So maybe by Saturday, Sunday, depending on what the winds and the tides are like, we could have a little bit better surf than we've had so far. Still, the contestants have been riding out there, and the amazing thing about it is these guys and gals know how to make the most out of every wave. They don't need much to do what they do, and that in itself is pretty impressive. Live from the oceanfront, our content on your side.